<laughs> now, can you explain to us the protocol next? Oh, God. <laughs> it's Just so you'd have an easy morning. day. OK, let's, let's, go, <laughs> let's go back in time to a point where the British Prime Minister made a solemn promise to the DUP that there would never be a border down the Irish Sea mm -hmm. and that if anybody required paperwork to travel across such a border, they could rip it up and call him. OK. He then did what he did, an, uh, described as an oven-ready deal that he negotiated, or his government negotiated with the EU, that did precisely what he told the DUP he wouldn't do. Yeah. He then took that oven-ready deal, which was the best deal, according to him, that you could get, and sold it to his parliament on that basis, who voted for it, and he instituted it because it was a great deal. He then came out and said, it's a terrible deal, it should never be negotiated, we need to unpick it. Yeah. And he's now threatening us, saying, if we don't unpick it, he's going to have to take unilateral action. Hell of a guy. OK, so right, he's visiting Northern Ireland today. Of course, the DUP have said that they will not go into Stormont. They will not take their seats. They are not going to... Either no protocol or no government. Correct. That's and they're right also said. going so far as to prevent a Speaker of the House being uh, appointed, which means committee work and the general processes of the administration of government can't even happen. But what is going to happen... Is Boris, Boris Johnson... Johnson has said that they are going to legislate for abortion within weeks in the North... Right, which the DUP mad for it. We all know that. An Irish Language Act, they love that as well, and a Troubles Amnesty, which is something a lot of other people aren't happy with. So he's going to do all those things that they really hate anyway. But is it's that because the, there is no saying, government in Northern Ireland? No one else can make a decision. Well, no, because it's been legislated centrally. These are issues okay. for, across the UK wide. So but, meanwhile, <laughs> he's saying. The, you, re you really should get on with things, you know, and so forth, so on and so forth, as is our Taoiseach, who's saying, lads, you really should get on with things. And Simon Coveney, our Minister for Foreign Affairs, is trying to de-escalate all of the tension that's pouring out of Westminster, saying sabre-rattling is not the way to go. Can we all just work this out nicely? For a treaty that Boris Johnson, Johnson. signed yeah, up to yeah. in the first place. And, but, and, and negotiated. And the EU were saying no. And, and they said they'll retaliate. Uh, correct. Yeah, I mean, the, the like EU... If he dares to try and... Mess they up have this, this again. weird old-fashioned thing where when you sign a legally binding international <laughs> treaty, they think it means something. <laughs> Come on. I don't know. It's we know it's not worth Crazy. the paper it's written on.